Hello MotoGP fans, welcome back to ZNGP today. The 2024 Aragon Grand Prix marked a turning point for Marc Marquez, as he achieved his first MotoGP victory in nearly three years, and his first on a Ducati. But what led to this stunning comeback? Marquez's crew chief, Frankie Carcati, shared exclusive insights into the meticulous strategy and adjustments that propelled Marquez to dominate the weekend. After a thrilling victory at the Aragon Grand Prix, Marc Marquez not only celebrated his own success but also came to the defense of his brother Alex following a controversial incident with Peko Banyaya. Marc shared his thoughts on both his triumphant weekend and the on-track clash that sparked debate among MotoGP fans. The Aragon Grand Prix continues to spark controversy as Marco Bezzecchi voices his strong criticism of Alex Marquez following the crash with Francesco Banyaya. The Italian rider, who finished 8th, did not hold back in expressing his views on the incident, questioning Marquez's actions on the track. Don't forget to click subscribe button and the bell icon for MotoGP news update. Marc Marquez's flawless performance at Aragon was not just a stroke of luck but the result of continuous adjustments throughout the weekend. Crew chief Frankie Carcati emphasized that the team made more changes than ever before, adapting to fluctuating weather conditions and varying grip levels on the track. We did more changes this weekend than any other. It rains, you have dry sessions, the grip level changes. Every time the setup was slightly different. The Grand Prix was the hardest because there was no dry session before. There are three or four corner sections on the track where there is a lack of grip. 9 and 10, it looks wet there. He does something very different from all the others. Quote from Frankie Carcati. Marquez's ability to manage these difficult conditions, particularly at critical corners like turns 9 and 10, set him apart from his rivals. His unique entry speed and gas management played a key role in his success. One of the standout moments of Marquez's race was his ability to out-accelerate the competition, particularly at turn 15. According to Carcati, this was no accident. Marquez's approach to the exit of this corner was unlike anything seen this season. On the exit of turn 15, Marc seemed to out-accelerate Peko Banyaya and company. It was the first time this year a GP23 had out-accelerated a GP24 on a first-gear corner. He has a lot more speed on the exit. Speed is difficult to understand, Carcati told by Crash. Carcati also highlighted Marquez's exceptional lean angle, a technique that has been praised throughout the season but was particularly effective at Aragon. Marquez's ability to maintain this lean angle, even when others struggled with grip, gave him a crucial advantage. This victory didn't come out of nowhere. Carcati explained that Marquez had been on the brink of a win for some time, but various factors, including setup challenges and grid positions, had previously held him back. Things haven't fallen into place. The expectation was to do what he did. He topped every session. It's been coming for a while. A lot was determined by our grid position. At the Red Bull ring we had enough to fight but it didn't go right, Carcati concluded. Marquez's victory at Aragon, Carcati suggested, could be the beginning of a new chapter in his career. With this win, Marquez has proven that he can compete at the highest level on a Ducati, and this momentum could make him a formidable contender in the remaining races of the season. Marc Marquez's remarkable return to the top step of the podium at Aragon has not only reignited his season, but also signaled a potential shift in the MotoGP championship battle. As he prepares for the upcoming race in Mizano, all eyes will be on Marquez to see if he can build on this success and continue to challenge the frontrunners. Stay tuned for more coverage as the MotoGP season unfolds. Marc Marquez's performance at Aragon was nothing short of spectacular. The Grezzini Ducati rider dominated both the sprint race and the long race on Sunday, securing his first victories with Ducati and reaffirming his status as one of the sport's elite. The hardest part was staying focused. I was riding really well. Halfway through the race my mind was already starting to look towards the podium, 
but I tried to push to stay focused again, Mark told. Despite his extensive experience, Mark described the win as an incredible feeling, one that reminded him of the support system that has been with him through tough times. When I crossed the finish line, it was an incredible feeling. My first thoughts were that everyone has helped me during the difficult moments, because I am alone on the track but behind me I have a great team, great people, a great family, a great girlfriend, a great brother, all the people who helped me day by day. But the weekend wasn't without controversy. During the post-race press conference, Mark was asked about the collision between his brother Alex Marquez and Peko Banyaya, which ended with both riders in the gravel. Mark didn't shy away from defending his brother's actions, while also acknowledging the complexity of the situation. I saw it and I think Alex went wide. When you get to that right-hand corner, I didn't expect to have Peko there. Peko was optimistic about overtaking him on the outside, trying to use that clean line, because if you go out on the dirty line everything becomes more risky. It was a very unfortunate situation. Mark suggested that Banyaya's decision to attempt an outside pass was overly ambitious, given the track conditions. He emphasized that while Alex may have gone wide, the incident was a result of both riders pushing the limits in a high-pressure moment. Despite the incident, Mark remains focused on the future, expressing his determination to continue pushing himself in MotoGP. Reflecting on his recent success, Mark revealed that just a year ago, he was contemplating retirement, but now he is more motivated than ever. A year ago I was only thinking about stopping my career or continuing. I think you already know me, one day I will retire, but when I do there will be no question about my possibilities. I will try everything to last a long time in my career, to be competitive. I try to enjoy myself, to use this opportunity as a rookie trying to work harder than ever. Mark Marquez concluded. Mark's triumph at Aragon may mark the beginning of a resurgence, as he continues to build momentum in what has already been a challenging and rewarding season. Mark Marquez's victory at Aragon, coupled with his defense of his brother, showcases the passion and intensity that drives this MotoGP legend. As the season progresses, Mark's resurgence promises to be one of the most compelling storylines in MotoGP. Stay tuned as we bring you more updates on this thrilling championship battle. Speaking with the media after the race, Bezeki did not mince words when discussing the collision between Banyaya and Marquez. He argued that Marquez either failed to see Banyaya or chose not to acknowledge his presence, leading to the crash. I think it is obvious to everyone who has ridden a bike at least once, that when you make a mistake and you go wide almost off the track and then you come back. First of all, you have to check who is coming because we have the pit board and we have many ways of knowing if someone is catching up to us. If you know that someone is coming to you and you make a mistake, you have to watch your back. Quote from Bezeki. Bezeki added that it was inconceivable for Marquez not to have noticed Banyaya overtaking him before the turn, stating that Marquez must have either been blind or deliberately ignored the situation. While Bezeki was critical of Marquez, he also reflected on his own performance during the Aragon GP. Finishing in 8th place, Bezeki admitted that it wasn't the result he had hoped for, but considering the challenges he faced, he was relatively satisfied. I am only happy when I am on the podium. However, I am satisfied until 8 laps from the end. My race was going very well. I was catching Brad and fighting for a possible top 5. Bezeki told by Modisan. Bezeki explained that his race was derailed by a severe front tire issue late in the race, which forced him to slow down and lose positions. Despite this, he remained positive about his pace earlier in the weekend, though he noted that changing conditions each day made it difficult to maintain consistency. Bezeki also touched on the importance of starting positions in the race, acknowledging that being further up the grid could have made a significant difference. However, he emphasized that maintaining a strong pace is crucial, regardless of where a rider starts. It's difficult to say. When you're behind, it's always more difficult because of the temperature, the pressure, and many other reasons. Starting from P6 or wherever, 
Further up the field can certainly help, but it's not always the solution. Bezeki concluded. Bezeki concluded by highlighting the unpredictable conditions at the Aragon GP, which were exacerbated by rain and varying track conditions each day, making the race particularly challenging. Marco Bezeki's comments add another layer to the ongoing debate surrounding the Aragon GP incident between Banyaya and Marquez. As the MotoGP paddock prepares for the next race, the tension and scrutiny of such incidents will likely continue to shape the championship narrative. Stay tuned as we bring you more insights and updates from the world of MotoGP. Thanks for watching ZNGP today. This is your MotoGP news update. See you in the next video.